You know, I think the impact of tech disruption can't be understated in healthcare right now. One of the really exciting areas where we see things happening is in medical tourism. The global penetration of things like broadband, high def communication capabilities, and those types of interconnections are really changing the way that people see the opportunity to go to global healthcare providers and receive care in all different kinds of, of locations around the world. So that technology explosion is changing the way that providers have to interconnect, how they have to be able to talk and share information, and how patients view their ability to have choice in healthcare. You know, women in healthcare are continuing to grow and find their voice, and I think that's so important. I mentor students for Goodwill who are going between high school and college um, for the summer in between. And I have a young woman right now I'm working with who is determined to be a doctor. As I was chatting at our kickoff event a few weeks ago, I met a young man who's determined to become a nurse, and he sees that as a career path where he can go and see the world and travel. When I was sharing that with a friend, she made the comment that it was so refreshing that this young woman didn't want to just be a nurse. And one of the things I said to her is I think as women in healthcare, we have to be so careful of our language. We have to remember that gendered vernacular like that has held us back, and we can't do the same to other people as they're coming up. I think it's really important for all of us to watch our language and to be very attentive to that, because we can really change the way that people perceive all of the career paths that are now available to all people regardless of gender. And I think that's a really exciting time for healthcare. I think that's an amazing thing. But as women in the workforce, we have to be cognizant of that and we have to set the standard for how we talk about those kinds of roles. There never has been just a nurse. It's always been a vibrant, important care provider role. And we need to not perpetuate that stereotype as we go forward. You know, the role of men and women has been evolving in the workforce for obviously quite some time. I'm one of the first Title IX generation. Title IX was passed when I was four years old. So I've actually lived through an enormous amount of change that's been happening as women take a different role in the workplace. I think it's really exciting now to see the young women who are coming up, who are finding their voice in an entirely new way, much different from where I was in my 20s or in my 30s. I think we're seeing whole new career paths starting to open up. A lot of things around robotics and automation are creating new paths for women in industries where they were formerly a little boxed out because there were physical demands of the career that they couldn't necessarily step into and fully embrace. We're also seeing a new wave of consideration for what it means to communicate effectively in the workforce and leading as a good communicator and not just as sort of a hierarchical process. So there's all of these opportunities for men and women to start to learn from each other and to start to connect in different ways. And I think that's just hugely exciting for all of us. I think the next 10, 20 years are going to see a whole new way for women and men to interact as they go forward in, this, in the workplace. You know, when I think about the major trends that are unfolding in healthcare right now, when you think about women, healthcare, and technology all coming together, I think it's really exciting to see all of the new career paths that are opening up for women as a result of technology being used in new and different ways in healthcare. When you think about the impact that radiology had in healthcare many years ago, that created a whole new discipline, a whole new space. And we're seeing things like that happening right now. When you think about things like robotics or automation, even in surgery rooms, or you think about the technologies that are required right now with a lot of the work happening with prosthetics and other areas of care, there's entirely new spaces where women can come in and provide different types of support and, and innovation and critical thinking around how we apply these technologies in ways that fundamentally change patient care. Yeah, you know, I think it's so exciting to think about the global disruption that's happening when you bring technology into healthcare. We're looking at things like Dubai Health City. I was just there last year. Um, some of the work that's happening in Costa Rica, some of the things that are going in, on in the state of Florida in terms of encouraging people to come and have healthcare provided. Some very advanced cardiology, fertility treatments, all sorts of work that people are having done remotely. And Americans might be surprised to know that millions of dollars leave the country every year as Americans go to seek care elsewhere. We have this certain internalization about our own healthcare system being the best in the world, but in fact people are doing that. And they're doing that because technology is making that possible. They're now able to have real-time interactions with their doctors at home no matter where they are in the world. As we th see things like broadband, high def video, and different types of operating rooms and theaters being built in different places around the world, it makes that connectivity possible and it makes it more reliable and secure for people as they move from place to place. 
The other major technology advancement that we see is in interoperability and interconnection. So we're sharing records so much more easily on the back end now because we're getting to a more common state there. So those types of advancements make it even more attractive for people to look at things like medical tourism and start to think, I could go there and get the same quality of care and have a different kind of experience than I might get at home. So it makes it a worldwide market instead of a market in your town, in your state, or even in your country. I think that's hugely exciting.